Welcome back to Ask the Good Doctor on Sirius XM Urban View, Channel 126, where talk empowers and becomes action. I'm Dr. LaJoyce Brookshire in studio with our guest, Dr. Tracy Diner. She is an applied kinesiologist and a wellness doctor and the creator of Magnitude Jewelry. And she is just enlightening us about how the dangers of EMFs are a source of dirty power. Now tell us. Oh. Tell us the more. How does magnitude jewelry <laughs> help more. to repel yes. the electromagnetic frequencies? Tell so, us. Yes. So besides the magnets that are on each of our jewelry embedded in some of our bases, also the tubes that attach to all of our beautiful interchangeable jewelry, my partner is an artist and we collaborated for four years right. to create a jewelry that is not only healthy, but pretty so that you'll wear it. It is pretty. I have some on today. And I do too. Yes, uh, we all do. Yes, we do. <laughs> on the back side, what I also wanted to bring up, on the back side of all of our bases, if you look, you'll see these little round balls, different colors, uh -huh. infrared, negative ion, and germanium. Mm -hmm. They are frequencies that we've added to the backs of our pieces. Infrared increases blood flow, which helps with healing. Yes. Negative ions increase serotonin, which mm -hmm. helps our happy hormone. Mm -hmm. We start to lose as we age. Mm -hmm. And germanium ha helps with decreasing inflammation in our bodies. So this is what is in all of our pieces, whether it is a, a necklace, a bracelet, earrings we just came out with we just came out with a men's line so and we're coming out with a children's line too just for exactly Fabulous. what we just talked about because kids absorb uh the emfs way more than we do but we need to make it not an interchangeable so we're working on that and mm -hmm. we won't probably have that till after christmas mm. so what is the jewelry made of so i have on a necklace today mm -hmm. and i have on lovely tudes mm -hmm. to go with like you say choose a base yep then the tudes t-u-d-e-s okay. are the magnets that actually attach to the base of the jewelry right and the bases come in different sizes different shapes and you can put interchange the right. gemstones Correct. right so right. tell me what the uh the the magnets are made of so the bases first off are made of surgical stainless steel okay we would never want to put anything in your your body the heavy metals because people have allergies especially the people we're talking about who uh, buckets are full yes right yes, yes. so we don't want to have them have any si sort of you want to overburden lead them. or right so surgical mm -hmm. stainless steel first off good then we actually have magnets in the bases as well mm -hmm. to suck in the tude. And then the tude has a neodymium rare earth magnet. Mm -hmm. Okay, these are the magnets that we have made and we have them gold plated so they look, they look jewelry quality, but they are a healing magnet. And mm. there are hundreds of years of, of research on magnets doing all sorts of it's healing true. therapy. True. And I have cited that on our website. If someone wants to go to our website on the wellness tab, they can see mm -hmm. the 5G, the good, the bad, the ugly. And they can also actually, all of the citing of all the research that's gone on with the magnetic therapy, with the neodymiums, all of that is is, this is not my opinion. This is just what I've gathered so that I can put it out there for people. Mm -hmm. And this is what I worked on for four years to create something, but we wanted it to be pretty. Yes. And so some people like big, bold jewelry, like you're wearing some a beautiful, our new uh, design called Twist. Uh -huh. It takes two, a tiny tude and a mega tude. We have some people who say they never wear jewelry, but they want to wear it because they want the healing or the healthy yes. process, aspects of it. So we have a little piece called Solo where they'll wear a bracelet. We actually even have for men, sometimes they don't wear jewelry at all, but they mm -hmm. want the protection. Mm -hmm. We have something called Atlas, and it actually is for people for sleeping as well because you're bombarded all the time. All the time. And your body needs to rest. And so if you have your routers, first off, can we just talk about what we That's can do? That's what I was just going to ask okay. you. How can we minimize so, our exposure? Yes. Yeah, so I don't, of course, I want people to wear jewelry. That's obviously a given. That's why I work so hard to help so many people in a different area now. But that's one of the aspects to do that you can for yourself to protect yourself. Some of the other things that you should do. The routers should never be in a room where you are spending most okay, of your so time. Okay, so we are talking about the routers to your mm -hmm. Wi-Fi wi in your home. Right. Okay, or to your computer. Yes. Okay. So most people tend to put them in their in their office where they're sitting all day. Sure. Or in their living room where they're sitting most of the time. Mm -hmm. You don't want that. You want the router as far as away as you can. This is The rule is if you can, get rid of it. If you can't, create distance. Okay. So that's kind of the bottom line rule. If you can't get rid of the router, which most of us can't, most of us are not going to hard wire our houses it's not a reality but the reality I'm is I'm hardwired are you good yes, for you good for you actually I took my smart meter and had them remove it from my home now this is the <laughs> battle sweetie okay yeah. for anybody who is having the smart meter battle yeah 
Okay, I was on a smart meter suppression list for quite a while. And then one day I noticed I had a smart meter. <clears throat> and I am furious. So on the way in the mail to me are the protective screens. And that is another show I promise you we're going to get at it. But we're going to talk more about the jewelry today. And we're going to talk more about smart meters on another day. Because I promise you that is a show all by itself. Yeah. Please, Dr. Tracy, yeah. continue. So, yes. Yeah. So if you can, you remove that. Put the router in a room that, it, that, that you're not in okay. most of the time. Another very simple thing, and I know you all know who you are. Uh -uh. You put a phone by your bed and you use it for an alarm clock. Or, yeah. you know, it's, you're checking it right the last thing before you go to sleep. And it's, of course, before your eyes are even open. Bad. You're checking it again. Bad. Right? Yes. Keep it in another room. Yes. Put the phone in your bathroom. And, if, you know, God forbid you have an emergency, you'll hear the volume. The phone will ring. Yes. Okay, but don't have it by your bed. Put it somewhere in another room. Let your body rest. How about if you go back to a landline, you all? Yeah. You know, that, and because you can get a landline for pretty cheap, for like $30 a month. Okay, that's that's minimizing the coca matcha frappuccino things <laughs> all right instead of doing those get a landline in your house because yeah. let me tell you if you live somewhere like we live where the lights go out yeah all right yeah you have yourself you're not you're not strumping out to the car because you can't shovel the snow to get to the car that's the first thing and then <laughs> to charge a phone but you have to have a landline yeah and that's the best thing so that's what's happening now it's an economic situation people don't yeah. want to pay both right right so and i agree with you and those people will, if there's someone's willing to do it, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. If they're not, okay, at least I'm trying to do the least amount that they can and do and do the best. Sure. Good. Put it in another room. Yes. You can at least have it in another room. And what about airplane mode? That's, yeah. That helps airplane. to diminish yes, it as it well. Yes, it does. It definitely does. You have and then turn your router off at night. Yeah, that's even if it's far away. And I know people that do that. Yes, you can. I've had mine put in a in another a completely different part of the house. Um, but yes, you can do airplane mode. You can certainly do that. Do you suggest sweet sleeping in the magnitudes? Absolutely. And here's a great question. We did not think about that, but we mm. started to sell our jewelry to people who were having amazing effects, and we're going to be talking about that in a minute. And some of them were telling me. That they had the best sleep they've ever had. They had more REM. They had better dreams. I'm like, really? Mm. And I hadn't thought about it. And then I started to do more research. And I realized, yes, EMFs are around you all the time. And they're irritating your nervous system just yep. slightly. Tick, yep. tick, 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 yep. tick. It's your nervous system all the time. Okay, so we created a, a rather, if someone doesn't want to wear a necklace at night, which Absolute, actually yes. I, I do, but you don't you do. have to. Okay. I do. Um, we created something called Atlas. Being mm -hmm. a chiropractor, see one. It looks like a little yes, C1 right. bone. So <laughs> Atlas, and it goes underneath your clothing, and you put a little toot on top. And oh, you like don't a pin. Feel it. You don't. It's a pin. It can be a scarf pin in the daytime. Men wear it. They can put tie it on clip. their T-shirt. They never know. Tie it absolutely, and it has the large mm. mega tube, which is a large mag large magnet, and and the tube which attaches to it is another large magnet. So you have double, very very strong magnetic push from electromagnetic fields. So that's a great thing to sleep in. So now, wearing the magnitude jewelry, what is the circumference of coverage? It's That's a great question. I get asked that a lot. It's your personal space. So your energy is large, right? So your personal space might be larger than someone else's. Yes. I'm just joking. No, so, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> nah, really? <laughs> but, but I would say, you know, probably... Maybe, you know, this three or four, maybe six inches. Where am I right now? Because I, I do yes. muscle tests and I do applied kinesiology. I'll have someone hold a phone up to their ear. Tell us about it. Okay. So an easy way to get to prove that this works for someone that understands applied Next kinesiology. Next question, by the way. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah. All right. So yeah, you pay me later. Um, a question of how this works is if you hold a phone up to your ear, yep. okay, and you put your arm out, you cannot hold your arm up mm. because the electromagnetic field scrambled the brain signal to the body. Mm. So a very simple, easy way for me to prove to you that this works is have you hold a phone up to your ear, okay, and you see that your arm will drop. All I do, I don't change a thing, is I take my tooth, I put it in someone's energy field, I don't put, I don't touch their skin, I just put it in their energy field, which is about three, maybe three inches away from them, and they are solid as a rock because yes. what happens is it's pushing the EMFs away so that the brain is not scrambling the signal to the body. It's mm. affecting the nervous system. So that's one way. Now, there's been some other things that are on our website. There are some other things that, that check biofeedback that I have taken wow. my, with and without my jewelry. And you can see the difference between the sensitivity to electromagnetic feeds with and without. 
in the machine, and that's going to be on our website very shortly. I just did it. And so this is how you know that the jewelry is actually working to repel the EMFs Correct. through muscle yes. testing. Yes. And you know what? You don't even have to be a kinesiologist to oh. muscle test. You know, peop there was a time when this was a craze at, at, pub at parties. People were just running around. Tell me, uh, what's your name? You say your real name, LaJoyce. Now lie to me. What's your name? Okay, Rochelle. Then you have. Your I might have started that because I was on TV. <laughs> did I did that for Blind Date when in my clinic in Studio City about twenty years ago? Did she? I was me. <laughs> People were running around doing this at parties, yeah, and they didn't even I, know this I, was kinesiology. I, I bet you that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I was on two different segments on TV about 20 years ago. Wow. <laughs> See? So, yeah. So, try. you can try it for yourself. Now, how do you recommend we wear magnitudes to protect us? So, you say, now, I have on today, I have on a bracelet. Mm-hmm. And I have on a necklace. Mm -hmm. Is it overkill or is it double the protection? It is not overkill. Okay. I've, if you look to see, I have a bracelet. And I have it's a bracelet, and I we just came out with earrings okay. and a necklace. One is sufficient. Mm -hmm. One will protect you. It, like in like a bracelet is it sufficient, does not, a necklace actually, is sufficient, or the earrings. It doesn't matter. Anyone, any of them in your energy field. It's really? it's your chi in your energy field. And at first, I chi. thought I thought the the bracelet might not be as strong because it wasn't so heart chakra centered as something else. And I have muscle tested over and over, and for most people, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There's only been a few that, that I've tested who had some underlying conditions. They were better off with a necklace closer to them than a bracelet. For But 99% of the population, any of them. But I can tell you that 5G is strong. And it's not if it's not near you, it will be. And so for me, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will do everything I can. So I wear a necklace and I wear earrings and I wear a bracelet. Okay. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. I can imagine that... Having created this to help so many people has given you a great sense of accomplishment. It does. It feel, I've, yes, it does. Have people come to you specifically who were sick, who you have said, whom you have said to, you know, I think that you could benefit from a piece of this jewelry. I've had someone, a woman had polio. She had, she had swelling in her knees for her, her, almost her entire life. She put her jewelry on her, her swelling went away. And I, I was like, really? Okay, well, take the same thing. Take it off, call me back in a week. She says, my swelling came back. I said, okay. Now put my jewelry back on, call me back in a week. She says, my swelling went away again. I said, well, then you need to be wearing our jewelry. She went to the doctor. Her doctor says, he says, I don't know what it is, but keep wearing the jewelry so that was it that was the, the inf infrared and the magnets that's that push it. away the electromagnetic field I, you know i first got hip to magnetic jewelry use i'm not jewelry but magnets for uh therapeutic purposes yeah amway ah. had a set of magnets yes and they i still have them anyway because they came in a nice case huh. i kept them but if you put them on places of pain for the same reasons yeah. the magnetic it yeah. worked it yeah. was magnetic therapy it worked and so i was it was the first time that i had ever heard of that so i can imagine that doing that and thank god for this woman um uh realizing that the jewelry was helping the rash because as the electric magnetic fields trouble us on the inside that's the skin being the largest eliminative organ right. it's pushing it out yeah. that, that helps to let you know you're alive you all so anybody who has any rash situations you yeah. know I, I also say that there's a little something else you could do it's called dewarming but also in addition to that but it's pushing it out and be grateful that your skin has that kind of response right it's our biggest organ it's our largest organ yeah. absolutely yeah. indeed so I, and speaking so of, yeah ahead. so you out you mentioned about some testimonials well actually i brought some people here with me well it's testimony so, time okay. so and then we've got real people <laughs> with real talk and that's real results and i want to start with um miss deb montgomery esposito here because you said people have told you things that have actually blown your mind yes and i think that what deb has to say about how she has used the magnitude jewelry in her home for um three generations in one household, how Absolutely. it has helped her family. It's something that I've been talking with my daughter about for many, many years. In fact, when she was nine, I assigned her a speech where she had to talk about the um, the negative impact of um, radiation from cell phones on developing brain. Wow. Um, and even though she did that, there still came a time, and I did not allow her to have a cell phone mm -hmm. at that time. She didn't get one until she was 16. And you're hoping that with this information, they will stop and they won't they won't join the crowd. Now, she's not as bad as, as 
many or most, um, but it's still part of their culture. It's part of, you know, life. For yeah, because mine is absolutely addicted. Yeah, Go and, ahead. <laughs> and, and there's nothing you can do about that. And you can't do anything about, um, in at least in Pennsylvania for us, you can't do anything about the smart meter on your house. Mm. And you can't do anything about 5G. And you can't do anything about a number of other things that we're not even really thinking or talking about right now. At, at any rate, my um, my daughter's also chemically sensitive. Mm-hmm. Um, and so she's had reactions to a lot of things. She, we moved to a place where the meter was already on. We're in a battle to, to keep it off of another house that we have. She wore the bracelet and there, there was no tingling in her head. Um, and, and she's uh, rashes and a, a number of other things. She's not having the same experience That's with awesome. that as well. Um, as for myself, I take care of my mom who has mild cognitive impairment, who had, um, was exposed to toxic mold. So she's having a number of really in, incredible symptoms. She keeps a bracelet on all the time. We're seeing improvement with her as well. And I was thinking, cause I'm really good. Um, and I've been, been really good. I was thinking I don't really feel anything. Then I mm-hmm. then I realized I was not hearing alarms. I was not hearing the phone, and I don't get a lot of rest. Um, but I can get up on a dime, and I was not hearing those things. So um, I was actually talking to Julie, who's who's here, and I said, you know, I wonder if it's the bracelet. So she said, why don't you just take it off? I took it off. Next day, I heard the alarm, heard, <laughs> heard the phones, put it back on, not hearing it. So for the uh, first time in a really, really long time in my overstressed, overburdened life, yes, I'm yeah. getting REM really, sleep. Really You're getting REM, REM sleep. Good REM sleep. That's so, beautiful. And yeah. for the three generations under one roof, yes, that is amazing. Dr. Yeah. Tracy, yeah. what say you to the what she's experiencing? Did you, like you say, you're always blown away? Being the founder of this, I get a lot of emails now, and, yeah. and and I still I'm still blown away. And the sleep is a huge issue for mm-hmm. healing, for regeneration. So there's multiple reasons why that's happening because your nervous system is not being irritated constantly mm-hmm. by the EMFs; mm-hmm. it's being pushed away. I, as a chiropractor, I used to explain to people when you have a vertebra out of position, mm-hmm. it's like your vertebra is pinching on the nerve, and you hear yeah. this irritation, irritation, like a little pebble in your shoe over time, yes. and it gets worse and worse, or a little scratching on the skin, and it gets worse over time because your body can't adapt. Mm-hmm. And so that's the same thing I think is happening with the EMFs. Your body is is doing everything it can to adapt and it's finally like I give mm-hmm. and and so the sleep becomes a problem because you don't get into deep sleep mm-hmm. and since you're being pushing the the EMFs away this is one of the biggest things I hear that has blown me away is the sleeping mm-hmm. and and so that's why we created that atlas not only for people who have joint pain like if you have a shoulder issue stick the atlas near your shoulder or your knee pain because those are big big magnets but yeah okay yeah that's Alex that's excellent thank you so much Deb and when we come back don't go away we have another lady who is going to tell us about how wearing the magnitude jewelry really helped to change her health trajectory so don't go away I'm Dr. LaJoyce Brookshire on Sirius XM Urban View channel 126